Good morning, Ambitions. This is Jay Alvarez for the Brigada News Beat Update. Today is the day 4 of the Brigada Escuela School Year 2018. And students, teachers, and parents of Andres Bonifacio Integrated School are continuing to clean the school and prepare it for the incoming school year. For today's activity, there will be a seminar about financial literacy that will be held at the conference room. Teachers, students, and even parents are invited to gain knowledge from different speakers. And that is it for the Brigada News Bit. Right here beside me is Mr. Jonathan Meherito, Head Teacher 3 of MAPE Department. As a Head Teacher, how will you handle the situation here on our Brigada Escuela? Um, as part of the administration of the, this school, and as a head teacher, first of all, uh, I will assess what are the areas of concern that we need to uh, fix. And afterwards, I will delegate and designate teachers and students and um, stakeholders in which uh, we will fix or rehabilitate the, these areas. And afterwards, I will check on these areas for the whole school year so that um, these areas will be maintained fully. That's all. Thank you, Mr. Mijerito. Again, I'm Jewel and I, reporting for Brigada News Beat. The Brigada Escuela 2018 of Andres Bonifacio Integrated School, Fort Day caters community partners' involvement. Abyss provides valuable seminars from first day up to now. In the background in the orientation seminar for financial literacy, the said seminar aims to develop awareness among the participants of Brigada on how to properly manage their finances according to Christian Dihabinyar, Brigada Escuela Focal Person. That's the news update of the R. This is Misa Ison for Brigada Newsbeat, reporting. The fourth day of Brigada Escuela 2018 commences as the resource speaker shares their knowledge at the morning session. Meralco resource speaker Alan Villa informs students and teachers safety tips for the preparation of the school. Beside me now is Mr. Alan Villa, the Meralco morning resource speaker. Good morning, po, sir. Hello, good morning. Uh, first question, po, sir. Uh, what did you find hazards and uh, risks in our school as you observed it for this day? Po? Okay, so thank you for that question, no? Uh, although we did not really conduct an uh, initial assessment, but generally, yung observation namin coming into the school, nakita naman namin na uh, relatively in compliance po yung ating mga electrical installations. Of course, meron tayong mga small areas that we can improve on no, na dapat nating constantly check, like yung mga, uh, of course, yung mga, let's say, mga cleanliness ng ating mga outlets, yung mga loose na mga connections in, in uh, in uh, sa mga switches po natin these are very minor things that we, we can improve on pero it plays a lot uh, in creating a safer environment para sa ating mga estudyante okay sir in connection with that question po uh, what do you think are the ways and uh, let's say the what, how can we avoid these mistakes for and faults in the electrical system okay. uh, what we can do is actually Tawag nga namin, we take the safe steps, no? yung acronym po natin na SAFE. Which is, una po, it's everyone's responsibility. Students, teachers, and uh, yung mga administration uh, personnel po natin in the school to go around and do inspection activities so that you can spot hazardous situations. So kung may makikita tayo ng mga damage na mga wires or kaya yung pong mga dirty po na mga outlets, open na mga wires po natin, loose and everything. So pag nakita po natin yan, what we can do is really assess the risk para nang sa ganun, we can improve on the safety of the students and fix that situation. So get electrical uh, electricians na pwede natin siguro may personnel tayo dito sa school yung mga maintenance people po natin pwede natin silang tawagin i-point out natin yung mga nakita natin na mga hazards and have them repair it that way we can enhance safety in our school so take the safe steps okay so sir uh, sir uh, last question po 
uh, according to the students, in the service that you give, po, do you think it's very beneficial po to the incoming students of this school year? The ano po, the manual checking and the tips that you give us in this seminar, do you think that it is very beneficial po? Alright, so coming from the Brigada Escuela program itself, yan napakaganda pong programa ng DepEd. Hindi lamang po ito opportunity for the students to help out in their own schools. no. But of course, preparing the schools, creating a safer environment for the students. No, with this program, tapos katulad nito, meron tayong talks on electrical safety na nag-a-add on yung mga ginagawa natin. Small things that we can do to help out to create a very good environment, learning environment para sa ating mga sudyante. Okay, so thank you po sir. Uh, thank you yes, for that thank short you interview. Much. Thank you for having us here yeah. in uh, Abyss. It's, very, uh, it's our pleasure po and it's our honor. Uh, and that is it for the Brigade News. Bit again, I'm Jay Alvarez signing off. Thank <laughs> you.